Hello, Ibrahim. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. Thanks. How about you? I'm okay. No problem. Today, we will talk about some important things about distance language teaching with technology. It's in chapter 10. Yes. And we have read together and we will talk about the interesting parts and imp important parts of it. First of all, do you have any question about the chapter? Well, actually, the, uh, the language of the chapter was pretty clear. So I don't think I have a question, any problem. I have read the chapter and I understood it. And, you know, we will be discussing about it. Okay. Is there any so important uh, or crucial key something in the chapter? What do you think about, for example, technology and language and distance education, like online education? Mm -hmm. What is the impact of it? What about now we are doing everything online? What do you think about it? Well, actually, the topic of the article is really related to this uh, situation. As you know, we have been suffering from COVID-19 period. And then uh, that is why we have uh, the Turkey and the, all the other countries have started, you know, distance education. So uh, actually, distance education kind of seems like something new to us, but actually it is not, as you know. Uh, distance education has evolved in the response to, you know, to development in technology. Uh, it's about, you know, Web 1.0, Web 2.0. And then... What was Web 4.0? I couldn't understand you. Could you please repeat? It starts from Web uh, 1 to 4, and yeah. it has, all of them have different kinds of characteristics in it okay. and as I understood from the chapter uh, the web one web two web three web four has different kinds of uh, impacts on education yes. and language education especially yes yes actually uh, web one is like one way of you know communication uh, mm -hmm. there are some people they have forum or websites they share info but we cannot give our ideas to them. So it's like actually, one way of communication. Yes. Yes. Actually, this is the earliest form of uh, CMC, communi uh, computer. What was it? I'm sorry. Computer-based uh, communication. Yes. This is the earliest form, right? Yes. Computer-mediated communication. It is, by the way, computer-mediated communication. Yeah, it is uh, one of the earliest one. Actually, uh, for it's like you know one way of learning. So, and actually, maybe you remember, you remember about twenty or fifteen years ago, there were some CDs to learn languages. Maybe you remember them. Ten years ago, I'm just twenty-three years old. Come on, how yeah, do you actually, remember? Maybe your, for example, my father had <laughs> used. My father used to have them a lot to learn English. Uh -huh. uh, you know, you insert the CD and the teacher starts to, you know, talking about uh, grammar and you keep taking notes and teacher says something and you repeat. So actually what I want to say is it's not synchronic. And the, actually the article talks about this synchronic and asynchronic. Yes. But as I understood from the synchronic and asynchronic part of the article, uh, it is text-based uh, learning or teaching system. That's why just one part of the students or teachers receptive and the other part productive. That's why it is not a really good system for us. And now we are in uh, online education. We are trying to interact with our teachers or students. Yes. And that's why this is not asynchronic as i understood this is synchronic mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. yeah it's like it's sim simultaneous simultaneous yes yeah that's instant good. we can say instant mm -hmm. uh so uh we can say and you have mentioned you have touched upon on you know computer media communication uh, which is a way to free students from limitations of curriculum and uh, materials as you know 
and actually uh, it is it is a good way to give you know new opinions for learning it is a way to you know uh, provide discuss to them discussion for them and uh, with the help of this uh, discussion they can we can provide them a collaborative learning system and for example when i when a teacher takes you know present perfect he can create this kind of uh, environment and by doing this they will be discussing and they will be practicing the language the present perfect of course but you said you talked about just grammar but let's talk about speaking listening mm -hmm. maybe writing mm -hmm. but i'm not sure about writing in online uh, education i think it's not effective because it's hard to write something online like use gmail or i don't know use chat box it's not effective for me but let's talk about speaking as a turkish people i am a turkish people and we have been suffering from speaking in english for more than a hundred years yes we grow our students from now uh, to secondary not secondary second grade to university and mm -hmm. they still don't speak yes the most important thing speaking for me and it is our problem when i went when i look at the online education for speaking perspective it's completely different in online education if it is audiographic and video conferencing env environment if there is something like that students have to speak have to practice on speaking that's why it's a little bit uh, beneficial more beneficial than face-to-face -face education what do you think about this yeah which is true and actually uh there are you know uh there are a lot of applications especially for this and uh there are applications for any kind of uh skills you have said maybe there aren't too much uh applications for writing skills but actually uh doc google documents can be used for this skills to improve this uh, you can for example the student can upload his uh works and the teacher can supply some uh, comments on this this can be a good writing activity and actually uh, i would like to touch upon a different part you know uh, in the in the par in the article there is a part it's like autographic and video conference in this part uh, it talks about the importance of blocks which is related blocks, to yes, us as, as you remember we 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 had we have a uh, you know block so what do you want to say we about? have blocks two block pages uh -huh. and one of them is private from tuncer hoca's class do you remember mm -hmm. uh, and the other one is from last term we created yes. it is very good but i want to say something about blocks i think uh, this is productive for us because we produced a knowledge or we produce some knowledge mm -hmm. and we shared with some people that's all the people didn't give us a really and productive feedbacks on our blog page or on our articles i don't know shared things that's why i think it's a little bit problematic for students yes we know english no problem about it but our aim was different let's talk about people who want to learn english via blog page is it an important and i don't know effective way uh, you mean it's like uh it, it was like a synchronic learning or teaching I yes mean, i'm talking about the blog. yeah yes yes uh is it an effective way it can be an effective but you know it's like uh it's like simultaneous way so that's why uh okay. any kind of teacher had better provide simultaneous way for learning and teaching uh because you know uh, getting getting in touch 
uh, by uh, you know blog pages it can take lots of time and uh, time is something important for especially for uh, older students yes actually uh, <laughs> and which is about teacher expertise and the article talks mentions about this you know we had a lesson on second grade about this that is why we had uh, we learned a lot about uh, uh, educational technology and mm -hmm. actually and you and i have been working for different kinds of language courses for like for five years so uh, what i think is like this kind of lessons had affect me a lot uh, with the help of these lessons i started using uh, technology and technological applications in a conscious way what do you say about this yes when you say we have been uh, working as a teachers or as an intern teacher in different courses i thought that yes i have used lots of different technological devices at the same time applications and actually i i have never thought about it and now i it came to my mind suddenly yes it had a very important impact on my uh, improvements online education yes. in online education and i see myself better than my past yes and uh what about video conferencing you know we have our lessons via video conferences what do you think about them actually as you see we are video conferencing now it is yeah. very important and for speaking it is very important too uh, actually, my aim is uh, just speaking on speaking. If somebody speaks well, he can write, he can produce, he can receive everything. That's why I am talking about just speaking. Uh, video conferencing, it has started more than 20 years ago uh, with teleconferencing. Mm -hmm. And now we're talking about video conferencing. It's written in skype in the chapter but we can uh, diversify it now for example now we are on zoom we can use teams we can use gmeet google meet and there are lots of different kinds of application and all of them are better than the others that's why students and teachers can use them effectively if their internet connection is stable if their internet connection is good I think that your internet connection is not good. My and internet connection. I faced, sorry? No, no, I am oh, not okay. saying you. I'm okay. just giving an example. Yeah. Think that my internet connection was bad last year. It was very bad. And even we couldn't talk in uh, Discord. Do you remember? Yes. You were yeah, saying something and I couldn't understand. I was saying something and you couldn't understand. There was a problem. As I said, yes, technology is very good, but if it is effective, I mean, if your yes. internet connection is good, technology is good. If your internet connection is not good, technology is a waste of a time for you. Yes. Yeah. And if you ask me, actually, uh, while video conferencing, you are staying at home, uh, being relaxed and comfortable. That is the point where the lang uh, language learning getting easier, which is actually which is too, too important for uh, older students because you know you as I said you and I have been working for language courses, and we have uh, younger older students a lot who are married have son or, or have hard jobs. So uh, this kind of people they actually do not have too much time enough time or to get a uh, language learning that is why sometimes they don't come to classes they don't have uh, they don't find time to do their tasks so actually for this kind of persons video conferencing is the best way i'm pretty sure about this is the best way to get this education so they will be at home they will be just relaxed and by while relaxing they will be learning 
So when they uh, when they come to language courses, they come they prefer to come at you know evenings. So when they come, they 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 probably will be you know uh, tired because they are coming from work, and then they when when they go go back to home, they will be just like that. They will just go back and sleep. So for this kind of person, don't even look at book. Yeah, they will not even think. Even they will not have time to think about the you know the learning process. So for this kind of person, uh, this is the best way, I think. But actually, if you ask me, if, uh, with the conferencing, of course, it has a lot of advantages. But for younger students, of course, face-to-face -face, uh, education can be uh, preferred. But as I said, for older students, with the conferencing can have a lot of you know benefits. Okay. I want to change your perspective on video conferencing. You talked about students' perspective, right? Mm -hmm. And th for them, it's very good. I agree. I cannot hear you, by the way. I think uh, there is a connection problem, I think. Let's just wait. Yeah, uh, I cannot hear you. What about the teacher perspective? Yeah. Can you can you hear me? Okay. Okay. Yes, I can hear you. No problem. Without no problem. I want to change your perspective. Yes. I mean, you talked about students' perspective. Uh -huh. If they are old and if their job is hard, if they don't have time. Yes, video conferencing yes, yes. is the best way for them. Yes, I agree with you. What about the teacher's perspective? For example, as a teacher, you are a teacher. What yeah. do you think about it? Is it a good or not? And why? Uh, of course, it's arguable. And for me, uh, mm -hmm. full-time face-to-face education would be much better. Yes, because it gives, uh, <laughs> you will earn lots of time, it's more economic. And uh, face, as I said, like face-to-face -face education for uh, adults, I don't think it's too necessary. But actually, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about how to say it. I'm not sure about my, what I think, actually. It's kind of, you know, confusing. But yeah, it's arguable, like I said. I mean, uh, of course, technology has improved too much we have lots of learning management applications which we'll be we will, we will be talking about now they help us a lot but of course uh, nothing nothing again is like face-to-face -face education and i don't think in the near future will be will this happen agree with you it is really arguable because Uh, connection problem again. Everybody has lost. Yes. I don't. I That's don't hear the you. reason. Let's just wait. Now, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, everybody has different lives, lifestyles, mm -hmm. abilities, and different times to do something. That's why uh, they are, everything is different from each other. And that's the reason it's arguable. But I agree with you, face-to-face -face education is better for me as a teacher, not as a student. As a student, online is better. Yeah. I feel better. Okay, do you have any idea about it or do you have any question about the chapter? If no, let's summarize and finish it. Yeah, uh, finally, we can talk about uh, learning management systems. As you know, there are lots of learning management systems such as Edmodo, Quizlet, Kahoot, or Padlet in order to foster the language learning of the students. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would like to I mention... Learn uh, learning... <clears throat> okay, learning management system is actually, how can I say, even 
Microsoft Teams is a kind of learning management system, or Mavis is a kind Um, I cannot hear you actually. Learning management system. It is so. Is it better? Yes. Okay. Learning management system, as I said before, it's a kind of universities for me. Universities mm -hmm. own their own mm -hmm. systems that they can share information or knowledge with their students for example we have mebis and we have teams right yes and this is our yes. learning management systems yeah and yeah. for example american culture had what was it my kelime something it yeah, was their I, learning I, management I, something mm -hmm. like, do you remember it's so abroad and everything every uh, educational institution has their own learning management systems. It is important. Yes. 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 And actually there is a chapter, uh, there is about assessment of learning. Mm -hmm. Maybe you remember. You know, as assessment, you know, when we encounter the COVID process, COVID process, we have midterms and finals as homework in order for teachers to assess us, they give homework as video conferencing, video recording. It's a kind of video recording assessment. In that way, teacher assessed us and they will keep assessing us with the help of technological tools. Yes, you're right. This is actually uh, all what I want to say. Would you like Much. to add anything? I don't have, I don't have uh, any idea different that, I, that's why I don't want to add anything. So it was can... a very good conference, video yeah. conference for me. Yeah, thank, thank you. you for me too. You're welcome. See you.